Here we are guys, another test ride for you. Today we're on a Triumph Street Twin and it's awesome. Without further ado, we're going to get it on and ride. Not going to have a super long walk around because I'm in a rush today. Yeah, but we're riding the Triumph Street Twin. This little thing, it is a, it's a blast. And one thing that I really like about the Triumph shop near me is they put they put the aftermarket exhaust on their on their uh, demo bikes so you get to hear the full the full brunt the barkiness of that motor and uh, this has got a really really sweet motor in it actually uh, if you might if you remember that i did uh, a test of the triumph scrambler i've just done my ducati scrambler and i felt it was only fair to give you an opinion of both of them bikes after I'd ridden this brand new Street Twin that came out for this year and um, so far I've ridden it from the dealership to uh, where we just started the beginning of this video I have to say it's pretty damn good completely updated motor completely updated chassis everything about this is different from the old Bonneville family of bikes and the Scrambler like the, the Thrux and everything's different it's, it's completely new they took that base bike and Updated it, put some new fancy electronics on it, traction control, ABS, ride-by-wire and um, they made a really sweet bike here. It does feature the same crank from the Triumph Scrambler, that's got a 270 degree crank which gives it a, a unique firing order which makes the Triumph Scrambler sound uh, really really good. If you can remember from my Scrambler test ride last year, it did sound awesome, sounds very v 20 almost Harley-ish. And this, uh, these motors in the new Street Twins and the uh, the new Thrux and R, they all feature that 270 degree crank. This one's got them pipes on, the Vance and Hines, uh, like megaphone exhaust, classic, really classic looking. And they sound really nice, really nice. Uh, there is like, depending on what your, you want your Street Twin to look like, there's loads of different options. That skid mark on the road there is actually from my crash <laughs> from uh, when someone bra braked super hard in front of me and I had to do it like a big ass emergency stop. Anyway, let's see what the flickability is. Oh yes, really easy to flick about. I don't know what size tyres are on it, I don't even know what type, but that wheel, that front wheel is huge. Massive ass front wheel. The mirrors are a bit shit, I'd be honest with you. These mirrors are pretty pathetic. You can't see fuck all out of them, but I wouldn't really be giving a fuck about those mirrors because I think if I had this bike, I'd put a nice little round bar end mirror on there. That would be much better rather than these things. So all I can see is my arms. <laughs> I can't see anything behind me, just arms. It shifts though. It shifts. Should we uh, bang it down to zero? See what the acceleration is like. All right, zero to 60. We'll put a little timer on the screen. See what that was. I had to fight to keep the front wheel down though. That was a... Uh, I could feel the front wheel wanting to come up there, ever so slightly. It is quick though, it is pretty nippy. It's not the fastest thing I've ever ridden, but it's quick. Right, let's pull up here and uh, check this thing out properly. Oh, loads of gravel, that's lovely. So, getting it into neutral, nice and easy. Kickstand, I always have gripes with kickstands on new bikes. Yeah, that's not so bad. It's pretty good. Let's have a walk around. Sounds really good. Let's give it a bit of a, a brap. Oh! So that's it. It's got the Defender Delete on it, sort of. It's got most of it chopped off, which I really like. I really like on the Bonnevilles. Nice really nice shaped tank this seat the guy was telling me this seats off the street tracker version 
So it's kind of like a mismatch of uh, two different styles of bike they've gone for here. Does have the ABS. Sick Beamer, bro. Really good traction control, ride by wire, ABS as standard. All 2016 bikes, remember, have ABS on now. Triumph Street Twin. I'll throw some specs up on the screen now. So you guys can check it out. It is a 900. But anyway, let's stop wasting time and ride this thing a bit more. Let's just go through the... So it tells you MPG, 70 miles to empty. That's pretty good, that's pretty useful. Half past one it is. Traction control on, so you can probably turn the traction control off. 54 MPG it's been doing, that's pretty good. It's not bad. I really like where the, the switch is to flick through the menu on the dash. Oh, that's telling me my average fuel consumption, 62 miles. It's not exactly as good as the Honda NC750 that I've got at the minute, but that's pretty good. See the brakes, like obviously this is ABS, so yeah, the brakes are pretty good. So what else do we have on there? We've got average MPG, the actual MPG, how many miles to empty, that is really good. I, I really like that. Most bikes, it just comes on going, you need to get some petrol now, cakes on drive. Awesome. I definitely have to get that Vance and Heinz kit. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> it's really upright, though. Very upright. I could ride this a lot. I could ride this for a long time. I, feel, I really feel like I could, I could ride this like solidly all day. I'm getting no fatigue. That's what it's like with my Nuda. I could ride that thing all day and be fine. You're probably asking though, you've ridden it for about half an hour now, Free. How do you feel it compares to the old Scrambler and the old Bonneville? Well, I didn't ride the old Bonneville. I only rid the old Scrambler and to be honest they're fairly similar out of the, the Scrambler and the Bonnie. I mean the Scrambler's got the 270 degree crank whereas the Bonnie had just the standard crank um, and this thing we'll see they took the motor they've made it better they squeezed a bit more horsepower out of it they've put that 270 degree crank that everybody loved it's I've never actually spoken to a person that disliked that crank Two of the boys that work at my local tram shop actually say that the, trambler, the Scrambler is their, their favourite bike. And I can, I can see why, it's really fun. This thing, it just feels way better. I mean, I really love the Triumph Scrambler. It was a sick bike. I absolutely had a blast when I rid it the first time. That weekend I had one when I took my girlfriend on the back to Scarborough. Had a blast on that, even though it was like terrible weather in the middle of winter. But this thing, it just feels like they've just took it that one step closer to <laughs> modern times with all this new electric stuff and made their already really good bikes even better. It is amazing. I cannot fault this thing at all. It's awesome. The gearbox is so slick and smooth. I wanted to get a bit of dual carriageway speed going here, but I don't think I'm gonna. So I might just pull off the uh, A64 and head back the way I came. Lovely bike, this. Should go test ride one. I think it's also A2 license compliant, so even A2 boys and girls could enjoy this thing. Should try some fillet ridge on the street twin. Well, I'm going to go back to the dealership now, since it started raining. Might go out on the Thruxton. I don't know. If it starts raining, I might ask if I can try that one another day. But this one has been really fun. I hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. More test rides coming up. My Scotland adventure coming up soon with Tremosphere. That'll be awesome. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.